Hi, this is meteorologist Steve Pelletieri. I am the weatherman. Thanks for checking into the weathermanpod.com on this Wednesday. This is the mid-evening update on Hurricane Milton. Milton has been downgraded to a Category 3, possibly down to a Category 2 storm as it slowly makes uh, its way towards the west coast of Florida, uh, somewhere between Venice and Bradenton, possibly a little bit further north. It depends on whether or not it starts to make that more easterly uh, bend uh, over the next several hours. But right now, a good portion of the storm is basically over the Florida Peninsula. And when that happens, it breaks down its moisture source. Same thing happened when it went across the northern Yucatan. And in that case, very dry conditions there. That broke the storm down for a little while. Once it got over the open waters, it intensified to that Category 5 and 4 that we saw over the last 48 hours. Right now, though, the storm is still due to make land. Uh, the eye wall will be approaching Longboat Key, Sarasota, or Siesta Key, or even, even as far north as Bradenton. It's a very large, now almost diffuse eye at this point. And that's because the storm is not it's breaking up, but it's wobbling just a bit as it's losing a lot of its moisture source. It's sort of like a, almost like a living entity with this type of situation. Uh, and once I said, the maximum winds are up to 120 miles per hour. Uh, some later reports show that maximum winds at about 105 miles per hour, which gusts up to about 130. And again, Milton is a Category 3, will be downgraded once it moves across the Florida Peninsula and then exits on the East Coast. That will happen over the next 12 hours. The hurricane force winds extend upward to about 35 miles from the center, so that brings it into Tampa, Clearwater, St. Petersburg, and as far south as Venice and even portions of Fort Myers Beach and Fort Myers itself uh, and Coral Gables. In the meantime, though, the storm surge is the biggest concern at this point. That is coming just as the eye wall comes through. Once that happens, the winds to the north, becoming more out of the northeast, will blow a lot of the water out of Tampa Bay. And the situation should hope any flooding that does occur will quickly go away or at least abate as the waters are pushed out in the opposite direction. And again, it all matters as far as the exact tracking of the center of that storm as it moves through the central portion of Florida over the next 12 hours. I'm meteorologist Steve Feltier. We'll have an update uh, probably around the later evening hours. Hope you have a, have a good evening and our best to the folks down in Florida dealing with the effects of Hurricane Milton this Wednesday evening.